So I moved and I'm working out in my garage now. I'm going to talk about a few easy workout modifications. Uh, anyone can do these. Actually, you can make these as hard or as easy as you want. I also have a new Bluetooth uh, earpiece so that I can talk to you while I'm doing these. A little easier. Um, anyway, so let's get right to work. I've got a list over here. Sam in my garage. Uh, let's talk about the uh, tri bar first. I'm gonna turn this. Sorry, I'm gonna go from vertical to horizontal. Okay, it's locked. Let's see. Okay, there we go. All right. So, hope you can get a good view here. Sorry about that. We'll work on this. There's my car. Well, actually, my son's car. Uh, so first thing, uh, tri bar. Kind of came up with these today. Why am I showless? Not to show off at all. Here you go. There's before, and then there's after. So anyway, try bar. You can take the weights off these. You can lift your legs like that, uh, and basically sit there and kind of row your boat. The more you lean back, the more it's going to work your abs. So like, I'm leaning back just a little bit. I'm going to show you how much. Like that, you can take the weights off. It's just a general, general, gentle rotation back and forth. And I did just get done working abs, so you can do that. Lift your feet off the ground, keep it close to your body, change the amount that you go down. And again, you can take these weights off. These are tens, but don't feel like you got to do all that. You could just sit back a little bit with just the bar, which this is a really light, cheap one. Probably weighs about two pounds. So those are the ways that you can vary your intensity. Or don't use the bar. Just lean back and kind of row your boat like that. You do that long enough, it'll get intense. So if you're overweight, do that. I can feel that. I'm just kind of squeezing my oblique there. Let's do that. All right, next. Uh, add wheel. Oh, what do we got? Let's look on the list. We keep the list over here. Add wheel. On this one, you've seen that thing on TV where they're kind of on that little skateboard. I'm going to turn sideways. Skateboard, board, whatever it is. So basically, I've got the ab wheel here. If you're obese, this would be easy. You're just on your hands and knees, basically. But this offers you the option to just kind of swing your hip like they have on that machine on TV. Somebody put in the comments for the call ad. Or, the more advanced, you can kind of turn the wheel out. I can really feel that in my weak out. <laughs> you got a little stitch there. Probably because I need to have my protein drink after my ab workout. So actually pull the, pull the muscle a little bit there. So let's work that out and see what's happening. Sometimes you gotta pause. I was being a little too intense with it. Not warmed up. I'll have to watch that. Same thing over there. And you can do like I said, just swing your hips back and forth. I can really feel that on my bleak, so I'm not gonna do it too much. Because I was almost pulled a muscle. As I am cooling down from my earlier ab workout. You can also use this to stretch your shoulders. These are cheap. They're like six bucks. I'm going to put links to all this stuff in the description. So I'm going to stretch that muscle out that I almost pulled a little bit. There you go. I, I really hope this is not showing vertical, but I think we're okay. The other thing too, you can kind of do like a cat move. Like just pull that in. I know what it looks like. I don't know. But that's really flexing the middle of my muscle. And same thing here, when you get to that position, like your back is arched, swing that hip towards it. So it's kind of like, and then swing it the other way. Kind of like getting two workouts for free. I love this thing for stretches too. You can roll it out that far and stretch your lower back. I'll roll it out that far, hands and knees. Kind of give you a better shot here. 
Here's the knee. Let it go. And then pull it back in. And that can be as intense as you like when you get to the top. Back to the catch stretch. So, anyway, that's that. Uh, let's see. Or, if you don't have a wheel, you can actually just do that on your hands and knees. Kind of move that elbow towards this muscle. Like that. You can really feel that. Hopefully you can see kind of. Well, I should have that tri bar, but it's compressing or it's I'm working that muscle right there. So you can just swing your hips back and forth to work your obliques. Squeeze that side, squeeze that side. I can feel it all the way down through there. Trust me, that works. We're gonna move this out of the way. These are live folks and real. Real person, got some flab there. Uh, we all do, unless you've done all the tricks to get all ripped anyway. For your on team. Uh, let's see. Okay, final one. I hope you can see this pretty well. I've got this uh, power block here with uh, like six of the uh, plate mates. Plate mates is like a little magnetic weight. I really like these for micro increasing. You can hold a couple in your hands and use them like workout or uh, rope workouts. I really like those for all sorts of things. <laughs> Stick on the pretty strong. So, what we're going to do here. So we're going to use this as a handhold so we can kind of do some uh, crunches and stuff. And those still work too. I guess we should talk about that. I always assume people know like simple moves. You can just do this. Flutter kicks, scissors, whatever you want. Actually, I guess that's scissors, flutter kicks, whatever you want. So I'd like that. Lay back a little more. So what we're going to use, do is we're going to use this uh, power block as a handhold. So that we can do some little more tense. I'm gonna try to turn it a little more sideways here. Well, you get the idea. Basically, you just hold onto the weight as a counterweight. So you can lift your legs like that. Well, my back's kind of tight. My back is actually bothering me a little bit, so I can't get my legs straight up. And then you can kind of give a little lift your butt off the ground. You can wait 30 seconds if it's too intense for you. If you have trouble with that, just take your legs here. So all the weight is over my buttock. And I'm holding on to the weight to keep me from lifting off the ground. Just do that. It's a workout. You can just hold your legs like that, stretch them out. However you want to do it. Put them over your head like I have my knees bent a little bit. Like that, knees are bent. There's a workout. There's a workout right there. We just came up with one. It's something. That's all you can do. Actually, this is an old move from the military. I had another guy stand up there and they try and hit your legs one way. Oh, almost fell over. You can do that with the weight. You can kind of, you might want to tilt the weight over for that. Yep, that doesn't work so great. Okay, blooper reel. So, anyway, that's about that. Just hold on to it. Little thrust. And I think that's about the end of the list here. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, this is going to be staying on the channel, so if you got comments or questions, uh, again, these aren't super intense. Um, you can just vary the weight and vary how much you maybe bend your legs or uh, how long you hold the poses. That's one thing, too. I'm not moving very fast here, it doesn't have to be fast. You can just hold that right there. Like arch that back and just hold that hip towards your elbow, hands and knee. Like I'm just holding that and squeezing that. Yeah, I'm not even moving around very much, but I am working that muscle. I, if I held it there long enough, I'd actually kind of get a stitch or maybe even pull it. So squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, and then range of motion like maybe I want to do it a little maybe I squeeze it really hard vary the speed a little bit so that's a technique that you can use in any workout just time under tension um, you know versus a lot of weight or moving real fast etc just time under tension and trying to make it intense for yourself in my garage I sweat rolling down 
Oh, let me hear. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment. I am very good about responding to the comments. I hope this helps. Um, I'll put this in my playlist for a beast folk and regular folk and whatever. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We got more of these coming.